Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, I will explain to which extent we need mathematical skills in software development and why school level math is enough for most developers. I will review some basic mathematical concepts related to programming, such as coordinate systems used in computer graphics, mathematical functions used in program design, vectors and matrices used in graphics and machine learning, finite state automata and state machines used in parsers, statistics concepts used in machine learning, uh, algorithm complexity used to estimate the program execution speed, mathematical modeling used to extract formal models, and many, many more. Simple mathematical concepts are often needed and applied in software development. This doesn't mean that software developers should be strong mathematicians, but they should be familiar with the basic math concepts at school level. Developers don't need to prove theorems or solve differential equations, but they need to understand coordinate systems, they need to know what a function is, they need to be able to perform simple calculations, and they need to have well-developed algorithmic thinking, which is like the logical thinking used in math. School-level math is enough for most developers unless they are involved with computer graphics, machine learning, or other math intensive specialization. Below are the most important mathematical concepts related to programming. Coordinate systems and graphical objects with their size, position, and other numerical char characteristics are used in computer graphics and user interface systems, such as HTML and CSS, PDF, SVG, and others. Mathematical functions, elements of lambda calculus, uh, discrete functions, and other simple mathematical transformations are used by developers when they write code as part of the functional programming paradigm and some modern architectural approaches like serverless computations. For example, developers may define functions in their programming language, which transform input values into an output result. Or they can pass a function called a callback or delegate as a parameter to other function. Vectors and matrices may be used in graphics, machine learning, and everywhere else. In fact, developers are using vectors every day because vector is the mathematical name of arrays and lists. Matrices is the mathematical name of tables that we know well from spreadsheet and Excel applications. Finite state automata and state machines are used in parsers, which extract data from structured text, in process management and workflow management software, and in interpreters and compilers. Statistics concepts such as probability distributions, statistical significance, hypothesis testing, and regression are widely used in data science and machine learning. In machine learning, data science, and artificial intelligence systems, math skills are more important. But in traditional mainstream web, mobile, and backend development, we need nothing more than school level math and logical thinking. Algorithm complexity uh, is a math concept from the mathematical analysis used to estimate the execution speed of the code based on the approximation of the steps needed to be executed. Developers need to learn the concepts of time complexity and what is linear time, quadratic time, cubic time, and logarithmic Time, which is quite simple and mathematics is not deeply involved. Mathematical modeling is the art of translating problems from the application area into trackable um, mathematical or formal formulations whose theoretical, numerical and algorithmic analysis provide insights, answers and guidance useful for the originating application. Mathematical modeling is an important skill related to algorithmic thinking and developers with strong problem-solving skills uh, learn how to use it at basic level. 
This is an example of how basic school level mathematical skills are used to draw objects uh, using the SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. The vector graphic standard for the web. We draw a rectangle at certain position uh, at the coordinate system with, with certain size. Uh, border width uh, and border radius. Developers use similar concepts when they create user interface of their apps using HTML and CSS or XAMO or other graphical representation technology. Now let's see the previous example in live demonstration. Um, we open RepoWit where I have prepared the code for the SVG example and we click the green run button. Now we see the rect rectangle with the black border. Uh, it's located at the invisible coordinate system. which starts at the top left corner of the web page, which hosts the SVG graphical area. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the Warner's community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Join now, softuni.org.